If employees pay tax honestly on salary shouldn't companies pay tax on revenue and not just profit? If companies had to pay tax on revenue most would go out of business very fast. I understand this sub is called are no stupid questions, but the fact that everyone is telling you and justifying how bad of an idea this would be, and you keep doubling down is impressive. Start a business and see how well you do being taxed on revenue and not profit. This would just encourage to keep costs at a minimum, hurting both employees no benefits and lower salaries and consumers product services that had so many corners cut they look like a circle. So you think that a company that earns, say, 100M in revenue, but spends 99M on employee compensation should be taxed for 100M? That isn't right either. Also, if a company spends 100M on capital expenditures, they haven't really decreased their profit. That 100M they spent resulted in 100M worth of assets. Capital expenditures usually are not fully tax deductible and must be deducted over a period of years as they depreciate tapes colon www.investopedia.com scanswer 021015 white under some circumstances capital expenditure cannot be tax deducted all once dot asp. Paying tax on profit is fine provided profit is calculated honestly. The problem is that the tax system allows companies to manipulate their accounts to dishonestly reduce profit far below its actual level to avoid tax. Look up the Irish double dutch sandwich for a good explanation. Your idea is fine, but you've got the direction backwards. What you're actually trying to say is that the cost of living should be taken into account when determining individual taxation. And there's a lot of merit in that. The tiered taxation system is one way of achieving that, as are income tax rebates deductible expenses. And yes, some countries are very unfairly balanced in favor of high income earners. Do you realize you too can make deductions to your tax? People do not pay taxes on income or revenue. They also pay taxes on profit. Businesses can only deduct expenses related to running the business, rent, supplies, utilities, etc. But what does that look like for an individual? You get to deduct your rent mortgage? But Jeff Bezos' mortgage is a whole lot bigger than Bubba's trailer payment. All that does is encourage the rich to have higher expenses to save it from taxes, for no beneficial purpose. At some point your mortgage isn't about necessary expenses, but luxury. How do you determine what the legitimate expenses for daily life are? That's what the standard deduction is. It's the right off of living expenses to separate what is expense and what is profit. You can argue the standard deduction is too low, but its purpose is to tax individuals based on their profits and not their revenue. Just like businesses, we get taxed on gross income, but can also deduct any expenses specifically related to our job. People really don't get that. You truly belong in this sub dot. Using 30 as the tax rate, if I spend 90 to make 100, should I owe 30 or 3? Farms would quickly be owned by the government. Farming is a high capital expense, narrow profit margin industry, which is why only industrial scale factory farming succeeds. Also, if you took out debts to run your business for the year, get taxed by revenue, and can pay those debts, you no longer have a business. Taxing profits encourages business to invest in capital, pay employees more, make long term capital investments, which in turn stimulates the economy all around. Odd as it may seem, taxing business may not exactly be the best tax strategy anyway. Any profits they realize ultimately goes into someone's pocket. So if you could tax that money more reliably you'd still get the money, and businesses can focus on business expenses. This is unsustainable because in the real world people with money are bastards, and more money is more opportunity to be bastards. They sell 100 billion, but pay 80 billion in salaries and cost of goods. Buying land or factories are investments. They aren't deductions to income at all. You can defer taxes via investment tax CT debts that Congress created to encourage investment, but they defer to the future not avoid. People are taxed on income and they allow a standard or itemized deductions. Business also is taxed on income. If taxed on revenue there'd be a period of adjustment, but prices would go up. A lot of companies and stores have very thin margins. Being taxed on revenue instead of actual profit will kill most of them. If they did, they wouldn't have anything left over to hire people. The margins are rough in a lot of industries. Look at the food industry for example. Their margins are only 5. If their taxes were 30 of gross, they would instantly be in the hole. They go out of business, so you will be out of a job. Neither employer nor employee will be paying taxes, and thus no money for the government to give aid, either. The whole country would be in chaos. You need a lobbyist. Deductions. They have business deductions to the gross revenue. You pay tax on your net income, that is where deductions come into play. Business have to sink money into their company's ACA expenses to generate revenue which are needed needed to run the company. This is why they get taxed on net income not revenue. 
individuals get taxed right away, but they are not spending their money to generate revenue or they would start their own companies. You're basically comparing individual expenses which are for personal reasons to company expenses which are for business reasons which are two different games in the eyes of the IRS. If you want the tax advantages of a business then start one. The entire point of doing a tax return is deduct your business expenses. It's just as an employee you should have very few for example. My work doesn't provide sunscreen or sunglasses, but I am expected to work outside. These things are considered PPE by my government. So when I buy myself sunscreen, that is an expense I can deduct. Most companies make 10 or less return on investment. They would have to double or triple their prices to pay your tax. Then the poor people would be even poorer.